Rather than placing reverb directly on your channel or sending signal to a bus, try this simple trick to add instant depth to your mix. Create two separate channels, each with a different reverb plugin or configuration. Make sure the reverbs themselves have distinct settings, like varying the size and delay lengths. Set both reverbs to 100% wet, turning the dry signal down to zero. Pan one reverb channel hard left and the other hard right. To prevent muddiness, insert an EQ before each reverb plugin, filtering out unnecessary low and high frequencies. Send all of your musical elements, except drums and bass, to both reverb channels. This method gives you a stereo reverb that sends a different signal to each speaker, creating a wide, unique spatial effect for your mix. This is a trick I picked up from Tom Elmhurst, the mix engineer behind Adele's albums and hits like Travis Scott's Utopia and Frank Ocean's Blonde. If the signal leaving each reverb send was identical, you wouldn't get a true stereo image, as duplicating a channel and panning its left and right just results in a mono sound. To create a real stereo effect, the signals going to each speaker need to be different. You can control how subtle or dramatic the effect is by adjusting the differences between the two reverbs, depending on what your track calls for. I like pairing this technique with automation to enhance a song's contrast. For example, you could gradually increase the reverb send during the intro, then pull it back in the chorus to narrow the width of the mix, bringing focus to the core instruments. This level of mix depth is often missing in beginner and intermediate productions, but is a process that makes a big difference in how spacious and immersive your music feels.